Hello, welcome back to Labyrinth X. Let's go from checkpoint number two, since we finally actually reached that last time. Okay, it's the portcullis and water room. Well, it's the actual illusion of choice room, in fact, because you can't go in the water. So, this leaves us with only one option, the portcullis room containing the gems. Now, if you recall, last time I took the orange one, and then the red one, and then I drowned. Now, I don't know if it's a matter of taking one and having to pick the right one, or if it's taking both but in the correct order. So I'm going to try both in reverse order. Go red. Okay, so red is death. Fine, let's skip all that humorous animation. Go from checkpoint two again. All right then. Oh, I do love a bit of trial and error. It's what drew me into games in the first place. That is a lie. All right, so we'll take the orange jewel, leave the room. Okay, some fish flopping forlornly on the mud. Let's crawl through that hole. This looks a lot like the inside of the giant head's forehead. Uh, uh, I hope we're not going to find an enormous brain in here. I suppose technically we're still inside the giant head. All right, do we want to go left or straight on? Neither one looks particularly inviting, so let's go left. Press red eye, press blue eye, or jump. Trial and error! Again! Because there's no pattern to this colour stuff here. Uh, Alright, let's press the blue eye. Ah, oh, that closed up the floor. Okay. There's a weird ass-shaped door. <laughs> weird ass-shaped door is not quite what I meant. Let's go through there. And keep going. Oh, actual combat. High kick, punch, or low kick? Well, they don't look like they have balls, so I'm not convinced by a low kick. They are hunchbacks, though, and hunchbacks might be painful, so let's try and kick them on their hunchbacks with a high kick. Here we go. That worked. Apparently it caused them to explode. I don't want to know what was in those hunches. Alright, let's go straight on into the disconcertingly narrowing room. Suits of armor and another weird passage. Okay. We're just going in circles since we keep turning left. Bats. How do you fight bats? I mean, logically, it would seem to be high kick since they're airborne. But logic doesn't appear that much in Team Shuriken games. And we've already had high kick, so I feel like it's probably not going to be the same solution. Let's try a low kick. They might be low flying bats or something. And bats eat my head! Oh, it sank its tooth into my eyeball! That's horrible. Oh, I do love a bit of trial and error. Oh, yes, I do. Absolutely. You know what? Let's have one more. I usually stick to one per episode, but I feel like we're actually getting towards the end of Labyrinth X. So I'm going to have another go. All right. Um, let's go straight on. Try something different. Oh, God. A spider eating a person. Or tickling a person. <laughs> Alright, let's try punching it. No. Alright, that's too many grisly deaths for one episode. Rejoin me the next time for more ineptness in Labyrinth X. See you then.